But now we actually have nine food per turn surplus when we had zero. That means the city can keep growing. Next population in five turns and we can keep getting districts. This is just so, it's, I love this combination. And these two are breathtaking because of the lava. I love this combination so much. It's just so fun. And we can even evangelize and usually I take Tithe because it's based off of cities with Russia, but we're going high population. So let's go cross-cultural dialogue for extra science off our population, which feels kind of good. And there's the feudalism boost as Russia. <laughs> and a city state died. Rapa Nui died. Ah, oh, come on. Well, I'll grab Auckland and then I'll hold on to these other two envoys. Getting delegations back from the civs I sent delegations to, meaning this money I sent came back to me. No, don't kill Mexico City. Come on. Dude, not cool. Especially because if he kills Mexico City, that means I'm next. All right, another 400 faith. We could be the very first to evangelize our religion all the way. Yeah, none of them have evangelized yet. We pause settling for just a second, just because I wanted to get my religion up. Look at that watermill. Wait for these tiles to get all this extra food. Give me four food, three food tiles. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Mexico cities, honestly, with their swordsman, they might be okay. I can get commercial labs or theater squares in this city. I put, could put an appeal district just to pop this tile to breathtaking. So let's just go ahead and throw a three theater square there. That feels good. About to get 10 pop up here. I can get a theater square soon. Let me quickly get my apostle. Let's go monument into temple. Buy another luxury. Keep all my cities nice and ecstatic. And here it is. Second grove. Second grove. Let's go. Three of the tiles of breathtaking. And we'll have to boost the others with districts for now. Well, it has, it only has four populations, so it can work the three tiles right now. The capital is gonna go ahead and start working on settlers, I think, we can hard build them, because we do have 50% production from Ancestral Hall, and we can put it in colonization next turn. I do need to get this barb camp cleared. So I'm gonna actually send these archers back. Evangelize my belief. And here's a big, a big choice. We could decide, hey, Grand Columbia doesn't have a religion. So we could pick up Crusade. There's actually no religions in this area at all. Oh, that could make a really awesome war push later in the game. Or we can go religious colonization and we just keep on expanding through all this tundra and we immediately get a religion in all of our cities. I think both of those are good, good choices. He has Oracle though. I want Oracle. But it also requires me to actually spread my religion to him. I think so I don't run into this problem where I have a fully built lava without a religion. And the fact that missionaries are gonna be a pain to spread up this way. I think religious colonization is the way to go. And if we want to go for a war, we'll just go for a war. We don't need the plus 10 combat strength. Not at, not at that point in the game. So let's take, go ahead and take religious colonization. We're gonna start spamming settlers out this direction. Clear out this barb. Settle a bunch of cities out here and over here. Oh, Teddy's gonna have that cultural defense down. And I need to make sure I meet all of the civs in the game and maintain orphan borders with everyone. Because there's another one, two, three. There's another six civs that I haven't even met yet. These huge games are something else. Well, don't threaten me, Grand Columbia. Wait, your army's doing so poorly. Mexico City's gonna kill your own army. Ooh, he's looking a little weak, eh? I think we go, instead of Cossack timing, I think I go for my favorite timing to attack, which is basically Renaissance era with bombards and gunpowder, where there's a lot of boosts in the game where it's like build an encampment and then have three archers, build an armory, own two crossbows, own two trebuchets. At this point in the game around the Renaissance era is when you really want to have an army. So you might as well do something with it. So I think we're gonna go for our, our classic Renaissance era wars against Simone Bolivar. But until then, we're just gonna go ahead and relax. Governor title time. You can grab that governor title as well as this one. So I think at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and go for Reina Forestry Management. And I think I'm gonna put her in this city so I can get extra food from the trade routes that Columbia sends me. Routes to my cities. Oh, he's not sending me any. That's lame. Oh well. Reina Forestry Management will help me make some gold over here. Let's plug in that colonization card. 
And with some of my border cities, it might actually be worth it to go ahead and buy a quick settler just to get that second, that city settled really quickly. This city has enough food that it should be able to recover, yeah, in two turns. It's fine. If he kills Mexico City, I'm going to war with him. Settler goes there. This city has no food whatsoever. But that's why going for Guaduras are really nice, as well as granaries. Because that city doesn't have a preserve. But this really just needs to place these districts down and they'll be fine. This tile won't be breathtaking, I don't think. I shouldn't have chopped the woods, but I thought the volcano was going to go off. His two riders gone. We got another one next turn. Then we can also try to buy riders as they come out. Like this one. For what, 100 gold? Yes, please. And I need to get more Theta squares down. We do have apprenticeship, which will give us plus one production on those mines. Phenomenal. <laughs> I hear you got some capital hiking over there. Oh, do we? Beautiful hiking. Beautiful. Bronze. Bronze. There we go. We have iron over here, too. It's great. Send this guy up here. It's going to be really hard to send the settlers out through this direction. Research-wise, it's time for, I think, construction. There's no quarries for us to get. And we'll just keep pumping out settlers. Chop out that theater square. Go for that amphitheater immediately. So I have spots for these great works. And actually getting a coastal city in a boat would be really useful. I could claim this land, but I would rather he settle it so I can just take those cities. I could fit another tundra city up here too. With a possible campus and maybe a late Amundsen Scott city. I mean, why not? Why shouldn't I have it? At this point, you kind of just want to start spamming cities and getting your theater squares down. There's a better campus here. I think we come up here and we literally just throw down like half decent theater squares and commercial hubs just to get the great work slots. And then maybe eventually we can put down some uh, national parks in the area. We're going for mass sprawling empire. The nice thing about this culture too is that we're like, think about it. If you build the Colosseum, the Colosseum is considered a good wonder if you hit like, you know, six cities. Six cities getting two culture. Guess what? We have six tiles getting two culture right here. <laughs> of course, the amenities are great too, but we already have maximum amenities. Like, <laughs> uh, we're doing so great. All right, we have another writer. So this theater square will be useful for us. And I need to meet those other civs. All right, he's got men at arms now. So he might be able to kill Mexico City. When waste with the advance of there is feudalism. I think after this settler, i kind of running out of places to send them easily. So we're going to take out colonization. I'm not going to hard build them anymore. And we're going to plug in serfdom. I need to keep the writer card in as long as possible. And tech wise, we really might want shipbuilding. We're about to boost sailing though. So let's go for construction. Let's get some extra food. Yeah, mountain tunnels. Nice. Yeah, this city is at maximum pop. Yikes. So I need to get that good water ASAP. And even a granary in the city. Actually, is the water mill more efficient? Because the plus one production? No, nah, the plus one production is not much when you have a city with 27. So I'm going to just go for the cheaper granary so that the city can at least grow a little bit. Let's build an engine wall to get the tech boost for engineering. And this city will actually be able to get another district down. So, do I prioritize the theater square or the commercial hub, I wonder? I think the theater square is more important than the commercial hub. The trade routes and the gold, of course, is always nice, but the great work slots are super important here. And I would rather keep this amenity for a little bit longer if I can. Go for Gurdwadas. Go ahead and settle this city. I got sailing boosted, so let's go ahead and check that. I will want a harbor, of course, but I think I need to get a lava first. So I'll put a lava right there. And then this builder can go ahead and work on those coastal tiles. The city's growing. Let me get some production back in. There we are. The Aztecs are in the game. Nice to meet you. Oh, I need a little bit of gold here. So I can send him a delegation. Make open borders. And, oh, he's gonna hate me. <laughs> Hang on. He hates me because I don't, I haven't sent him a luxury. If I send him a luxury, he'll be happier with me. Oh, that's gonna hurt my cities though. It's fine, we'll figure it out. Settlers moving out. And if I can get a city next to this wine up here, that could really help in terms of food in this area and getting more cities out. There's also a volcano here. Ooh, 
Uh, of course, there's a really good lava right there. Throw a 3D square nearby. So let me go ahead and get this settler. So we can get that in over here. And then we should be able to mass settle from there. You know, with this volcano, this is actually a very tall city. All right, I can build a couple boats. I should probably just buy the boats. Let's get forestry management here. This will give us gold on all of these forestry tiles and also will help us get that preserve down. To give us time for harbors and shipbuilding, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish construction. Manatori wants to stay friends. That's awesome. Keep up borders. And time for monarchy. This city will need a grotto and keep growing. You see if I can sell some things for gold. I can. And I can quickly buy a boat. That'll give me era score. We're well over on the era, but that's fine. Getting the boat out is important. Yeah, we are mass expanding. Caesar! Hey, Caesar. Welcome, friend. Dude, I love Caesar in my games. You clear one barb camp, and he's like, yo, you the bro. <laughs> and that's what I plan on doing over here. Uh, let's also get over here to make sure I can actually claim that. Uh, we're at seven population in this city, which means I can now either get an encampment or a commercial hub. I definitely, I think I want to get an encampment to boost military training as much as I do want to have commercial hubs. I think that's just too important. Another continent, more tundra. And I think the city can just builder spam for us for a little bit. Where does this settler go? There's some nice campuses here. I can also go this way. This campus is a national park potential in this area, so I'm gonna go for it. Let me go ahead and send my delegation to Caesar, as well as the open borders. I can purchase some luxuries maybe, nope. Keep it open borders with all the civs in the game, just get a slight little bit more of tourism. Um, I don't want to keep friendship with Simone though. And honestly, I might want to actually start working on a military soon. As soon as we get to monarchy, we'll start working on a military because you'll have the military policy cards again. Yeah, he's going out to Mexico City. So if he has man at arms, I would want to be able to attack him with knights at least, and then possibly gunpowder musket men. Let's go for shipbuilding though. Sell off a little bit more gold. And get a second boat. Boosting shipbuilding. And celestial navigation. So we can get our harbors. Settle that city. Again, lava first into harbor, I think. Is the way to go here. Because you really want that production. Plus seven just feels so good. And it's time for amphitheaters. Ooh, there's a luxury. Make sure every city I'm settling focuses on food so they don't starve themselves, stagnate and all that stuff. And here are our traders finally ready. Oh, we can finally use our grand embassy ability and trade with uh, someone more advanced than us. So I'm gonna send this over here. Oh, our Ma's in the game. Where? Oh, I just met them, awesome. So I wanna put Diplo League in then. Good ship building. Uh, I do need to get the iron mine quickly. I don't need to keep it. And let's trade. We can finally get some of the culture, the science. Wait, what? Simone Bolivar should be ahead of us in the science. We should be getting one science for three techs ahead. So he's only three techs ahead of me. Not bad. I wanted to build a road from, from here so I could attack specifically this city. His capital's right there. We could hit the city, hit the capital, clean up. Now these trade routes aren't that even that good. But the Kumasi trade route. Seven culture. Let's trade straight from this city so I can get a trade route to that city. No. Scythia, nice to meet you. Again, open borders. We're trying to be as friendly as possible until it's time for war. Also, it's time to start looking at engineers. And uh, James St. George is the first engineer up. All right, no one's been on this island. So a scout over here would be phenomenal. Yeah, let's get this road. Two signs per turn is enough to make that worth it. Let's get that boost for iron working. It kills a protecting tile, so I'm gonna immediately remove that iron, I think. I really need these commercial hubs. Ah, oh, dang the lavras though. Um, I'm not selling my books, sir. Here are our the amphitheater's the done. We can get more works down. Scout's gonna go up over here. Oh, there's a man at arms, yikes. And the capital, or the city of Novgorod, can actually get another district. Let's buy some luxuries here. Oh, they're both at seven pop. Sweet. I think we're gonna prioritize the commercial hub stuff. And I'm gonna put commercial hubs in both of these cities so we can start getting merchants down. 
as well as trade routes. Chop out the monument, go for a lavra. Not every city has to be huge for the preserve, just my main cities. The ones that have enough time to actually benefit from the amount of food growth that you'll get. And at the start of the medieval era, we're well on our way for probably a culture victory this game. We got a head start on the great people, of course, as Peter of Russia's abilities. And I want to lean heavily into the improved national park with preserves like this. Unfortunately, I actually can't make that a national park because this all tiles need to be owned by the same city. And of course, you can't swap out the inner ring. So that's unfortunate. I could, however, make a national park right here with these four tiles if I don't settle this. So I think this settler is actually going to come down this way to settle over here. I have pinned out a couple more cities. There's a fantastic preserve right here, which you can use national parks for. I might want to settle this land and then, of course, settle it out to the tundra up here. I need to scout out what that looks like. But I can also make sure to get some national parks in areas like this, especially putting national parks in your Reina for tree management city because the additional appeal you get from your features with forestry management means you get super high tourism national parks. And I want to make as many of these national parks in the Farina forestry management city as possible. And we'll just pin a whole bunch of national parks in this area. Uh, I also want to make sure I unimprove this iron here. Iron is actually going to be less of a useful resource for us as we continue on. I'm also going to pick monumentality again to keep faith buying settlers. This is the medieval era, so we can start getting the great engineers. If you don't grab the great engineers in the medieval era, once you move to the Renaissance era, you start losing out on great engineers. And there are too many good great engineers to pass these up. James of St. George is first, but someone like Emotep or Isidore would be huge. Um, Bai Sheng giving us an additional district in a city would also be incredibly useful, especially in our Pingala city or our capital. I wish I could put a preserve in the capital, but I don't think I don't think that's going to happen. The capital is actually running out of things to do, though we do have Apadana in the city, so it could just wonder spam for us and give us additional envoys to help us give get Susan of these city states. Speaking of, I need to make sure I plug in Diplomatic League, keep serfdom scripture, literary tradition, and then we're going to double send to our Ma to get two envoys here. I might want to get Susan of them. Monasteries aren't that great for culture victory, but they give faith and an additional faith next to a district and also housing. What we could do is we could put monasteries on flat tundra tiles, especially for the next to a district, just to get a little bit of additional faith because we can't put mines down anyway. We can put some around here too. And we're about to unlock the Kotoku Inn, which gives additional 20% faith in the city. So that could be a really useful wonder to build. I could also go for colonization card here soon and just keep getting settlers. Oh, but let's go ahead and first time send to Band of Brunei just to get additional gold return in our markets that we're building. And we'll put one more envoy into our Ma to boost the faith in our temples, giving us additional 233 faith return. It's insane. Let's just get a quick builder and then we'll put in colonization and just put monasteries down. Here we go. We'll keep on scouting as well. And Rome, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Rome? <laughs> And keep getting settlers out of the capital and i actually do want to send them over here this is a new continent that could be Eriscore. plenty of good lavras in this area as well there's rivers there's a gypsum to settle so let's settle here for our harbor lavra and then it also lets us settle over here for a couple of luxuries again for more lavra fun lavra harbors now let's get an additional trade route to russia and i would love culture bombs as well on all of my districts that could be huge And we won both! Nice! That iron is actually improvable. Go for engineering. We'll keep getting good food tiles in these cities. Now, I could also just faith buy settlers here, but I want to get the harbor down so we get mausoleum. Let's get that tile back to breathtaking. Sometimes you just have to double click to get the UI to update. And let's chop out the lava here. There it is, done in one turn, and then you'll have a ton of production. Hey, Nzinga Bande is in the game. I'm going to send her a delegation and get open borders. And Grand Columbia, we could renew a friendship, but I don't want to. I don't want to backstab him. This city's now big enough to get another national, another preserve. So go ahead and do that. This city has plenty of growth, so I'm just going to go ahead and faith buy settlers out of here just to get these guys settled. We've unlocked monarchy, so I'm going to go ahead and immediately go for this. I'm going to run conscription as well as retainers to get additional amenities. Republican legacy, charismatic leader, and I need to keep it in scripture. 
But I also want to be running Surfdom, so I think our Rider card can actually go away for now. And go for Machinery. We're about to boost Military Training, so I'm going to go ahead and spend a couple turns into Guilds. They want two markets. We can also boost that with these two cities. The city's going to struggle with growth. So this is what you, this is what Peter cities are normally like <laughs> compared to this. 12 food per turn compared to like maybe three. The lava here is done. Let's go ahead and get the shrine down. And our lumber mill is going to give us a bunch of additional production while preserving appeal. I don't like what's going on with these military units. We found a wonder here. Krakatoa. What a fun wonder. And this guy's coming to find these goody huts. Nice. This city's going to need housing soon. Let's go ahead and just build the stable in so we can actually get some Cossacks out of that city. Oh, no. Ooh, Canada, the other Tundra lover down in the south this time. Send him a delegation. We'll get open borders. I'm actually going to do a check to make sure I have open borders with everyone in the game. And it looks like we do, except for Pacha Cutie. There we go. Now we'll have a little bit of additional tourism from the trickle of 25 tourism right now. And we've actually unlocked Kotoku Inn. So I'm going to go ahead and try to build this now, which will also give us envoys because we built Apadana. Um, looking at writers, I could actually use another writer and we can actually buy some great works from the other players. These are a little expensive, but if I check, looks like we're about to lose a writer to Canada. It's the first medieval era writer though, so I'll let him take that and then I'll get the next one. Now I could settle in place or I could settle one tile down to get arrow score from settling next to the volcano, as well as get closer to some of these better tundra tiles compared to the snow. Because we're gonna grab this tile regardless, based off of our Mother Russia ability. And Santa Rivo is huge. A percent modifier on our culture based off how many great people we have. And we have a bunch of great people. We have three writers so far. And that's 2% per, so that's an additional 6% culture. I'd love to get Susan of them. All right, we have access to crossbows. I need to finish an aqueduct somewhere. Yeah, we're building an aqueduct up here, so we'll be able to boost military engineering. Let's figure out where our knighter is. Here's a writer. Fantastic. Will we be able to put these writer Flowers. slots down? We have another governor title. I would love to get connoisseur and Pangala. Get additional eight culture per turn right now. Finally, over 100 culture per turn on turn 94. Nice. Well, let's get our traders up. So finishing those markets actually boosted guilds now. Now we need to get our traders out. So I need to build those. And I'm also going to faith buy a couple. And some of my core cities. And that'll be four traders to boost me will fares. And I think we're actually going to spend a little bit of time to build a few military units just so that I don't have nothing. So we're going to get a couple of crossbows that will also boost metal casting for us. I like to have just enough military to get through the boost. Look, increase my military score so the AI doesn't attack you and then be able to upgrade into a good fighting force later on. We'll settle here. It's two air score, one for Tundra, one for Volcano. I need a Lavra right here and we should be able to get some settlers out of this city over here, over here. So I might want to move Magnus over there. So moving him in, in the east is actually a good idea too. Have we met all, every seven in the game? No, there's one more I haven't met yet. So I need to prioritize finding them. We'll go ahead and buy that crab tile too. Get a little bit of extra growth. Now, because it takes so long to faith to, for settlers to move from our capital to these di directions, I'm gonna go ahead and move Magnus over to this city. So once this gets a two pop, I can start spamming settlers over here. You see this settler is taking a very long time to get over here. So I'm gonna faith buy this settler out of this city. I'll send him over here. Now I can go ahead and get a bunch of trade routes to Grand Columbia. You can see here we're actually not getting any science and culture from our international trade routes, which means we must be on the same technology level as he, as he is. See, we're at 20 techs. Grand Columbia is 19. They're behind us. Ooh. Okay, so warfare with them should actually go incredibly well. We have a road here. Oh, trade routes, trade routes with Kumasi are fantastic, though. Hello? <laughs> Thanks for the follow! <laughs> I guess that's how you know a YouTube video is doing well, because I keep getting followers on Twitch while I'm editing. <laughs> Welcome in! Yeah, let's trade with Kumasi. That feels really good. Seven culture per turn. Seven culture per turn. 
Seven culture per turn. Oh my goodness. We just got 21 culture per turn from trading with Kumasi. All right. Yeah. Russia's Grand Embassy ability can be useful in a pinch if you are behind, but if you're really good at scaling your empire, uh, it goes obsolete very quickly. I found Get another great work down. Fantastic. We have seven books generating 29 tourism per turn so far. And we're going to send these archers out here just to be around this area. We'll chop here for that monument, get the lava down. And keep on scaling this city. We're going to prioritize food just to have this city grow as tall as possible. It has an abundance of food. We can come down here, settle, and look at this. Preserve time. <laughs> Luxuries nearby. And if he settled right here, it would be fantastic. So I'm going to leave that tile open. Let's get another grove down. Settler. And we're going to keep on looking for that last save in the game. 11 ecstatic cities. Oh my goodness. Now, the one thing I didn't plan for was Colosseum. But where would we put it? Is it still available? It's not. It's gone. But we do need these. We need to prioritize Kilwa, though. Um, I do want to start getting these engineers. Faith bot. If we can grab someone like Emotep. All right, there's our crossbows. We'll send them down here. And I'm kind of just buying time until they can build theater squares. And get the two, two catapults so I can upgrade them into siege towers. And now it's time for theocracy, which is huge. Would Faith buy things for so cheap soon? And we could build the Anchor Watt. Oh my goodness. One population in all current cities, one housing in all cities. That would be massive. And I think that's a project for so a city like this. We could do Aqueduct into Anchor Watt here. 16 production. Wow, wait, this city actually has more production. Yeah, okay, we'll just Anchor Watt up here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's the power of Lavras. I'm going to get a builder up here, and then we're going to go for the anchor watt. We'll put it on this mine tile just to keep that campus tile intact. And we have another governor promotion, so I'm going to get grants on Pangala. That way, this city is going to just start generating tons of great people. We'll settle here. Moscow. Harbors are useful. Lavras are here. See, our harbors are still discounted. They won't be for long, though. You know what? Let's just get this lava. I'm going to put it over here. It's hard to district in that direction. Or do anything in that direction. Get another luxury online. Sell this luxury for some immediate gold. And I really need to get this city to grow. So I'm going to buy it a granary. Because we need to get the four pop up here. And I think it's time we start faith buying engineers. Even though I don't really care for James and St. George. He could be really nice for getting immediate walls next to Grand Columbia. And it's very tempting to go attack him right now. But if his cities have 43 combat strength by men at arms. Only 45. I need a higher strength advantage all right we have access to niter now so we have one source right there in the capital oh that's fantastic that's fantastic we can also look for more it looks like there's some over here and over here where we wanted to settle so as soon as we get magnus established we'll start buying settlers over here and look we can actually get tundra farms going <laughs> who says if canada is the only one with tundra farms beautiful now we know we have access to Niter, so I will be able to go for gunpowder soon. We have armories unlocked now. Let's go for castles. And I'll have to buy this armory, I think. Grab a goodie hat, 40 gold. Nice. Get my settlers moving. Sell more luxuries. I need a little bit more happiness. So I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more builders. Work on those two trebuchets. That's just fine. And I need two universities to boost printing. Printing is actually really important because it gives us more tourism. Double tourism from our great works of writing. And as soon as this city is done with its lava, it'll be able to actually pump out the Kilwa. But it needs the lava to be finished to actually have a decent amount of production to do that. And make sure to stand my crossbows in my cities to get additional amenities from retainers. I don't like to commit my... Now we have access to Theocracy, giving us a 15% discount on faith purchases. Massive. I want to play Republican Legacy. And I'll keep all these cards as is. Now I can come back to military training and mercenaries, pick up these envoys, buy another luxury, sell a luxury. Fantastic. We can also look into building the Grandmaster's Chapel, which will allow us to faith buy military units. Oh, and we have St. Basil's unlocked. 
So we'll definitely want to build that in a city. Which city we build it in, I'm not sure. Preferably a good tundra city that will make the most out of the culture and production. And I think I actually just want to put it in Novigrad. I might skip out on this campus here. Put down the St. Basil. Plus one food, plus one production, and plus one culture in all tundra tiles. Yeah, that'd be amazing in the Pingala city. That's gonna look so good. We also have Niter here in a preserve. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. But you can see here, now that we have a unit in St. Petersburg, it gets an additional amenity, giving it plus five, so now has a 20% growth reduction and yield modifier because of the retainer's card. Oh man, go for those high food tiles. We'll put a bunch of mines down here for now. We'll probably plant trees there later. And apparently I have no sources of horses. But there we go, we had another preserve down. Fantastic. Uh, which actually, that's another preserve tile to boost our Pangala city, which is huge. I need to get appeal over here. And this city could actually build Mahabodhi Temple. You know, a couple of free apostles to spread religion down here might actually be useful. I can't believe that's still here. Let's go for it. More wonders, more tourism. All right, Magnus is here. I can now faith buy settlers out of this city for cheaper because we have theocracy. I'm also going to go ahead and grab this engineer because I want to know what engineer is next. Emotep, that's it. That's it. That's why I went for it. <laughs> that's why I grabbed that engineer because we're going to want to go ahead and get this city to grow up to four pop so that we can go ahead and get a harbor down and chop it out and then place mausoleum. Then we can maybe get a Colosseum and also one extra wonder from the classical or medieval era, which could be Terracotta Army to get free promotions on a military. Settle this city. Oh, you know what? Oh, heck yeah. So instead of getting lavras in both these cities, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a lavra here. And then with this city, I can go ahead and put a preserve here <laughs> to get all of these to breathtaking and have the lava and preserve working together in two separate cities. Oh, that feels so good. Now, I'm gonna go very quickly and run the wonder card, Gothic Architecture, over Serfdom for a little bit so that I can get a little bit of extra production towards this, as well as this wonder here. I'll get a whole bunch of mines down here. It doesn't matter if it's low appeal because that's not affecting anything. So I need to save up Faith for Emotep to make sure that uh, Scythia doesn't take them in 14 turns. So let's go ahead and use James of St. George and some of our border cities. And I think it's time we actually get some alliances, huh? So let's look for a probably... Hmm, you don't like Grand Columbia. Oh, oh, this could be very interesting. Let's get a military alliance with a Manatore and then get an economic alliance with China. That means we can go for diplomatic service now. Get another luxury online. And this new continent is going to be full of luxuries. And let's just focus as much as we can on food over here. Now, I would love to settle for this niter. And of course, there's some nice stuff up here too. Lavras, campuses, a whole lot. Though I do need to get more theater squares soon as well. I'm going to send builders over here to get this harbor chopped. Two trebuchets. These cities are so in sync. It's hilarious. If you see a castle. Castles. All right. At this point, I need to go for stirrups, get food on our pastures too. That's something I probably should have prioritized to get that additional food in this capital. So we'll bring our trebuchets down here. To use a James St. George, single charge here. And here we are, St. Basil's. Now I'm not too worried about pre-building an army to attack over here. He's going for medieval walls now. He already has them. So yeah, we're going to want to at least have siege towers, but I think bombards are the way to go here. Gunpowder and then Cossacks. In the meantime, I think we just do some holy site prayers for additional faith and also to spread our religion further. Get access to these luxuries. There's another luxury here that's worth improving. Actually a really good tile too. The last sieve has to be somewhere down here in the south, I think. Borders with Teddy. I think I allied with an enemy, so he might not actually like me, which is a concern because he's the highest culture in the game, 138. Yeah, he has 55 domestic tourists. A Manator is actually asking me to go to war with uh, Grand Columbia. That could be tons of fun. That's exactly what I want to do, but not right now. So let's go down to the south. Anchor Wat was built, oh, yeah. but we got Trend Kotoku in. Way. I had a feeling Anchor Wat was going to go really fast, but at least we have this. 
Nice. A diplomatism. Now we can start running Vissel Banking for additional food <laughs> and production on our trade routes. So we're going to want to stack these in our three core cities. Get our cities as tall as possible. I'll take out Gothic Architecture for Serfdom again because we're about to settle a city. And running Veterancy for Harbor Production could be huge. We also have Warrior Monks. <laughs> I might as well use these for retainers and uh, send my actual military units forward. But yeah, there goes that wonder. That's okay. Instead, we'll put all the production into a one-turn campus, which will help us boost printing here soon, because we'll be able to buy universities very quickly. First, I need to buy an armory to boost gunpowder. I'm gonna go for humanism. Getting a artist would help boost that, which we'll be able to boost here in a few turns. But I first, I want to faith buy Emotep, make sure that I keep that great engineer. And ease the door is next, which could help with Killa. All right, that's fantastic. Grandmaster's Chapel. Ow. James St. George, but I don't want to use their last charge until after the mausoleum is built. And I'll send my builders down here. Getting a bunch of wonders. We have four envoys, so let's grab Antena Revo. That's going to give us a ton of cost, 170. And then I'm going to start dumping envoys into our Ma to get faith in our worship buildings. Nice. Ah! <laughs> Big eruption. Let's keep getting settlers. Oh, soon. That actually hurts the city quite a lot. Let's go ahead and get a library here, and we'll be able to buy a university soon. Let's go ahead and get... Oof. I need to grow. I need to grow. 20 faith. Sure. Buy luxuries. Keep my cities nice and ecstatic. 12 ecstatic cities. Phenomenal. Two turns until we grow. We'll have builders ready to chop. And we're going to focus on Karwadas everywhere else. These are my three core cities. I'm going to focus on keeping their amenities up. We're at nine. Look at both of these cities. Nine pop, two turns to grow. They are so in sync. Uh, let's also get some spies. Spies would help this war coming up. We can also go for Alhambra. We can go for Terracotta Army. Mont Saint Michel could give us relics. Oh, that's actually really big. This grows next turn. Let's get some pre built in for gunpowder. Um, I do want to grab an artist. This will actually boost humanism. Let's faith by another builder here to help with the chopping. They settle towards us over here. Is this the easiest way to attack? I'm actually here now. This city will be very hard to hold with loyalty. Um, I just want to pump out some military units. So we're going to get some man at arms to upgrade. We can go for enlightenment. And we can actually beeline for conservation here. So is nationalism what we need? Hmm. Let's go ahead and settle this city. That way we can get our preserve down. And we can even try to chop it out. So this city here, get access to more Niner. Lavras can go just about anywhere. Can you save faith for Isidor? Remove this mine to get this back to breathtaking. Nice. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at this figure. Oh, don't look at this. Don't look at this. This is... This is, oh my God, three population loss. Don't, don't, oh my goodness. Don't look at that. Look at this. Everything is fine. Everything is beautiful. Don't, don't, don't. It's beautiful. No, 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 no. Beautiful, beautiful. Nothing is wrong. <laughs> oh. Here we are at four population. I can now get a discounted harbor here. Get my chops in. Oh, one turn, one turn. Oh, and now I have an artist. So I need to actually get those art museums down. Chop out that preserve. Move our guys around. Turn 100. Let's grab Susan of Arma. And then we'll see from here. Easy to need to save faith. Should be able to do. We're making, we're making 400 faith per turn. Oh, there's more niter up there. There it is. There's our harbor. And I can go straight for the mausoleum. Polychronosis. And you plug in the wonder card, which I can do next turn. And this city is going to work on something. Taj Mahal. Actually, it's just going to do uh, campus research projects. We have access to monasteries now, so I can get additional faith next to districts. And actually, I'm going to save this chop for something like the Colossus. Or do we use Isidore for that? I don't know. Let me actually just chop out this uh, temple. And we'll put a turn to the Garwada. They want a joint war too. Guys, I'm down, but give me a second. 
I'm having too much fun. Ah, oh, there it is. Volcano went off. We lost the woods. This is lost an adjacency. And both the lavas lost an adjacency. That's a bummer. Um, I think at this point, it's time we get either a Moksha or a Victor to get ready for this war. And I think the easiest way to take cities is to go left to right. So it's, ve it's very hilly up here. So I think, yeah, we want to attack this way. Anyways, let's go ahead and plug in the Wonder card. We'll take out Veterancy. We can plug in the Feudal Contract. And let's go for the Mausoleum. Build this in one turn. This is one of my favorite combos. You know, almost as good as Preserves and Lavras. <laughs> Get some mines. Get some food buildings. Dude, another blizzard? And Leah, let's grab Victor. Where's this last Civ at? We also just hit 10 pop in these two cities. Hit the Renaissance era with gunpowder. I can now go ahead and put this theater square down. As well as this city can also get a theater square. But we have to finish St. Basil's. I'm going to go Bombards up into Military Science. We go ahead and Faith by Isidore. And we're going to have access to gunpowder now. Let's just grab the Colossus while we're here. There's the circumnavigation of the world. In the medieval era, we're overshooting on an error score. That's just because we're doing so many things. Um, hello, Simone? I think he's about to declare war on me. In a dusty, dusty <laughs> Mahabodhi <laughs> Temple. Fantastic. Now, I will need to uh, upgrade some military units up here. Let's grab James of St. George. We now have two charges here. We'll be able to put them in both of these cities. Let's grab the Colossus. At Rhodes was set Get up a free trader out from this wonder. Cubits high, representing the sun. I actually want to finish this road over here. You know, if I can. I definitely need more theater squares. There's a plus three right here. We're just going to grab a couple of promotions here. And we'll just send these out to convert his cities. Now this war coming could be an issue. But I'll prioritize getting these military units over here and ready to declare war. We'll send a spy into his land, and I send it to his capital. It's the last one I plan to take of those four cities, I think. And we can also get a Theta Square in this city. Isidore is here. Love to use that on Killa. Oh, the Forbidden Tribal Village? Yeah, here he comes. I think we're going to end up going straight for this city the more I look at this. Let's get a card switch. And we do have Grandmaster's Chapel, so we should be able to faith buy a bunch of military units here. Like, I can step here and faith buy a Musketman. We can also faith buy Coursers to upgrade into our Cossacks. I'll send Amotep to get the Terracot Army built. And free walls. Not worried about that city at all. I really need to get this other settler out of here. Let's go ahead and get Killa. Yeah, he's really coming. This is fine, though. I'm just going to faith by a bunch of crossbows. I'm not even worried. We can get the upgrade card in. Yeah, we'll do this really quickly. Just to get a couple of promotion or upgrades. And it's time to go mercantilism. Oh, I missed out on the merchants. Let's go ahead and get Kilwa. Fantastic. This is going to get a huge amount of culture and faith across our empire. And we have five envoys here. So let's just grab Band of Brunei. But this is going to give us a 15% boost to gold faith production in this city. 30% boost to culture in the city, but 15% across the entire empire for culture. That is fantastic. I'm going to grab my galleys, bring them back to my cities for garrison strength. And here he's coming with trebuchets. So we should be able to out-attack him with here. That is so many units. Now, if he declares war on me, he gets kicked out of my borders. So I don't know what he's trying to do. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of military. <laughs> that's a lot, a lot of military. Where are you trying to go with those? I'd like to buy Niter. If I could buy it off of him, that'd be fantastic. And then we're going to push through here and over here. Buy a couple of these musketmen. Ooh, and we can build a Taj Mahal in Smolesk to boost the appeal 
of this last tile. Oh, also our galleys can help siege this city. Get some more walls. And these apostles are actually going to do a little bit of scouting for us. Now we have another charge for Isidore. And I'd love to send that to the Taj Mahal. Here we are. Is he declaring war? He's not on my borders right now. Did he back off? <laughs> first. Do I declare war? I'm okay. All right, we have access to Bombards as well. Love to upgrade these guys. That also requires Niter. So I'll have to get retinues in. I'm going to add these two proposals. And we're going to take printing up to Cossacks next. Buy some luxuries, 15 happy cities. And we'll denounce him. Oh, he's bringing a settler. Yes, please settle this city. I'll finally be able to take it from you. Let's vote up the aid request, especially mine. And it passed. Now the AI should uh, compete to send me money. All right, the Terracotta army is started. So let's go ahead and uh, tap that. Let's get one more, ooh, bombard. And then we're gonna go ahead and build the Terracotta army in one turn. Now there's about to be a really big war. Terracotta army is built. Seven we'll get a free promotion on every single one of our military of units, giving us a army. huge advantage against the AI. Nice. Let's look at this charge here. And the capital can go ahead and build another district. So I think we just go for that plus four campus. All right, they're building Renaissance walls, which means they're at siege tactics. I can't let that finish. So we have to go ahead and we have to clear war. There's a bunch of military units here. So we're gonna go for volley on these guys. Go for battle cry. Go for barring to defend that. Crew weapons on our trebuchets. Arrow storm. I very much need printing. Having seen. Uh, there goes the appeal over here, but we're close to conservation. So we should be able to go right for it. Take out feudal contract. We're going to run retinues. Upgrade both of these bombards. And there it is. There's that city. That's what we're going for first. That's awesome. We have a spy able to establish for a listening post to get extra combat strength. We have a very strong military, bigger than his, more advanced than his. We have more writers. Get the archaeological museum. Big war to come um, between two very impressive militaries. I'm actually very interested to see how this goes. He doesn't have nothing. And Teddy already has 99 domestic tourists that we're going to have to get. So this is actually a very difficult <laughs> game. Let's see how this war is going to go. First, we're going to look at what luxuries we have to vote down, which is unfortunate. Oh, man, I hate I hate voting down luxuries. But I mean, I don't know. I'll go for a luxury that I don't have. And that's something like sugar, right? I just vote down sugar, put three votes into it, see what happens. Yeah, they voted down tobacco, which is a luxury we have, but oh well. They put 30 votes in to voting down a luxury, and there was, yeah, America voted it down seven times. There wasn't any winning that vote, so that's annoying. But we did win the additional trade route capacity, so that's fun. Now, I need to try to make sure I start getting trade routes with AI, specifically America. And because she I'll also vote, uh, put down these great works. Get our first landscape down. We'll have a wonder coming out soon and get more slots for great work. Now, no, don't kill Auckland. Ah, oh, Nubia, please. I'm like actually using Auckland <laughs> a lot. Oh man, I hate you guys. Let's go ahead. Um, I also would love to have a general. So we're gonna need to try to get one of those soon. So I'm gonna do a couple of projects. That's something I completely forgot about getting. But we have enough combat strength modifiers that this should go relatively well. And if not, we can also core up our units soon. But you can see here we have 65 combat strength versus their 58. And we're going to step forward and get the crossbows in. Cancel that trader so I can go for a the builder over here. That way I can get a trader here. Trade with America. And I'm going to step forward with the musketmen, crossbows, and the bombards. This city can get another district down, so I'm going to go ahead... No, we just need theater squares. I need spots for great works. He has such a massive army. He does have knights. One had a but here we go. St. Basil's Cathedral. One Plus one food, Another, production, and animals. culture on all tundra tiles life. in our Pingala third, city. The city's about to get so big. Absolutely 
beautiful. Look at these tiles, bro. Bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. Four food, four production, three culture, three food. Dude, you can't find a natural wonder this good. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Who needs to find natural wonders when you can just build them? Oh,